Janine and her sister Jessica came to us looking for help for a painful problem they're facing. My name is Janine, I have vitiligo, and I'm 23. I'm Jessica, I'm Janine's sister, and I also have vitiligo. Vitiligo basically is the loss of pigmentation. My vitiligo is on my face, my neck, my hands, my elbows, my lower back. I have it in my hands, all over my shoulders, my legs, my back. She has her vitiligo on a good portion of her body, almost 70%. My vitiligo started when I was seven years old. I remember coming home almost on a daily basis and crying. Uh, I was like the, the butt of the jokes in class, <laughs> begging my mom to homeschool me. This hurts so bad. It's like I didn't want to like want to face it. If I didn't have that skin condition at such a young age, I wouldn't have had to deal with all that you know torture or the torment. I started wearing make makeup because of her. I saw how confident she was and I decided if she can get the, all this confidence from makeup, let me try it. Foundation, sunblock, concealer, pre-concealer, mascara, eyeshadow squad, moisturizer, and then another foundation. That's it, I'm done. I've tried everything when it comes to makeup and treatments, make my vitiligo um, pigmentation come back. If there was a cure, a cure did come available, then I would definitely want to try it out. Janine and Jessica are joining us today. Thank you for coming. Welcome. <laughs> you know, we're going to talk, explain to everyone what vitiligo is, but people are looking at you because you too, your skin color does look different. But I'm going to tell you right now, you, you are each within a few feet of me. You're both beautiful oh, young ladies. <laughs> And Dr. I really want to emphasize because people will think, oh my gosh, vitiligo, you know, is this contagious? What is going on? Okay, I'm sure it's been explained to you two, but I'm going to try and explain to everybody out there on the audience. And here I have my skin model. Typically, your skin tones are nice and even, whether you're, you're pale skinned or darker skinned, you have a nice even complexion. What gives you the col color to your skin? As I'm peeling off my epidermis here, we're looking at the dermis. There are cells that live in the dermis called melanocytes. What do they produce? Melanin. So the, my coffee beans are the melanin that is being produced that then migrates up into the skin to give you that nice, even tone. What happens with vitiligo, your melanocytes, those, those cells that produce melanin, die. It's actually an autoimmune process. What does that mean? Your own immune system is killing those cells. So when you lose those melanin particles, you get patches like so. And this is what Janine and Jessica have on their face and other parts of their body are these white splotchy areas. Although there's no set treatment, there's things you can do to make it better. There is no cure. And real quickly, Dr. Orden, this is a condition people have probably seen before but just didn't know what it was. Michael Jackson, for instance, suffered from vitiligo. And so it's out there, just people don't know even what they're looking at or what they're dealing with. I have good news. Actually, there's a cutting edge breakthrough that's like a second skin. It's a product called MicroSkin. And what this company has done is develop a new technology using this one of a kind scanner, which you apply to your face, which detects your skin tones and it can determine exactly what type of pigmentation your skin has and how to even it out and match it to your skin. It's like a second skin that once applied will stay on for up to a week, even as you shower, go out with your regular life. How does that sound to you? That sounds awesome. <laughs> I like that idea. Well, guess what? We have a big surprise for you. Okay. The micro skin people are here. Awesome. Backstage in our procedure room. And they want to give you, the two of you, a special treatment. How does that sound? Oh, I'm up for it. Let's go. Should we do it? Yeah. No, yeah. Time. I 